Hello, I'm Swati Gar, Medical Director for Alliant Health Solutions. And today I am excited to uh, discuss with you the new updated guidance for COVID vaccine. This guidance was updated on April 19th, 2023 by ACIP, the body that um, provides guidance for immunization. So the good news here is that this vaccine schedule has been simplified um, so much compared to the previous schedule that we were dealing with. So let's get into it. Vaccine that we are going to be offering now is going to be the bivalent vaccine. The monovalent vaccine that was being offered as the primary series and the first and second boosters that we had taken is no longer going to be in the market. There is only a single mRNA vaccine that is um, available through two different companies, um, Pfizer and Moderna. But the one that is available in the market is going to be the bivalent mRNA vaccine. Monovalent mRNA vaccines should not be given to anybody anymore. Now, how does that work? Well, if you have patients who are people who have received the primary series or primary series and monovalent vaccines, but have not yet received a bivalent vaccine or a bivalent booster, then they do need that bivalent vaccine. Once they receive that one shot, they are done. They are up to date. The next scenario is going to be people who have never received any shots because they might have been cons concerned about the number of shots that they will have to take. And so they said, I don't want to take multiple so shots. For those people, now if they do want to take the vaccine, they will only have to take one bivalent vaccine and they are up to date. So if I have never taken vaccine before, you can provide me with one bivalent vaccine and I am up to date for the year. People who had already received a bivalent vaccine, so there are a lot of our residents who have already received the bivalent booster. They are considered up to date. They do not require any additional shots. So you see, the vaccine schedule is significantly simplified. As long as your resident has received one bivalent booster, they are considered up to date. Now let's talk about people who um, are over 65 years of age and do have that high risk of COVID or do have the high risk for COVID due to other medical problems that um, cause them to be a little immunocompromised. For those people, if they do desire to take another shot to decrease the chances of having that increased risk of adverse outcome, they can ask for another bivalent vaccine. And as a medical director, if they come to me, I would look at when the last bivalent booster was given. If it was given four months ago, then I will offer them another bivalent vaccine. So this new vaccine guidance provides that flexibility of scheduling for high-risk individuals. These people can come and request for additional vaccine. And if four months have passed, we can offer them another bivalent vaccine. So this is the uh, new updated schedule for providing COVID vaccines to our residents. And as you can see, it is very, very simple. For more information, 
please go to Alliant, give the Boost a Shot page, and also tune in to our Boost events um, that we have on a regular basis talking about new updates and issues that nursing homes are facing when it comes to COVID, vaccines, treatment, and other infection control um, issues. Thank you so much.